Now, to subtract two vectors, if we have them in component form, so we know how much of the standard unit vectors it takes to build them, then we can just subtract the components. So you can see how that works. Like, let's say we want to take u minus v. Then we would take u, and we would take minus v. That's the vector of the same length as v, but in exactly the opposite direction. And we'd put them head to tail, right? And that should construct the resultant here, um, u plus negative v, or u minus v. Well, what are its components? Well, you can see that u, since that's its uh, component in the i direction is 4i, it's going to take carry u 4 in the i direction. And subtracting v, since v goes in um, goes 3 in the i direction, subtracting v will carry you back 3 that way. So the result is going to carry you over 1i. We can do the same thing with the j, since u carries you up 2j. And subtracting v, v normally carries you down 1, so the opposite of v will carry you up 1. So you get a total of 3j there. So we have this vector u. It's 4i plus 2j, and v is 3i minus j, so u minus v, we can just subtract the components. 4 minus 3 is 1i, 2 minus minus 1 is 3, so 3j. Or if you have them just with a list of numbers, like u is 4, 2, and v is 3, negative 1, you can just subtract the components. 4 minus 3 is 1, 2 minus minus 1 is 3. In both cases, you're just subtracting the components in order to subtract the vectors. Now, we can do something similar if we're in 3D. In 2D, we only need two unit vectors. Um, the standard unit vectors in 3D, we have i and j. i, again, along the positive x-axis, j along the positive y-axis, and k, a vector of length 1 along the positive z-axis, or in the same direction as the positive z-axis. So you have a vector, then um, here's the x-axis, and the y-axis and the z-axis, you could look at the shadow cast by that vector in the xy-plane. And that shadow is a vector in the xy-plane. It has a certain amount of i and a certain amount of j. And then this vertical component would be the amount of k. So you could give this vector, looks like maybe it is 3 in the i direction. and uh, 3 in the i direction, sorry, and 1 in the j direction, and probably 5-ish in the k direction. So we could write a vector in 3D just as a sum of um, scalar multiples of those three standard unit vectors. Or we could just give a list of components, 3, 1, 5, and we'll just understand that um, we're going 3 in the i direction, 1 in the j direction, and 5 in the k direction all of the usual rules work. So if we had some other vector um, z that was maybe negative 2i plus 3j um, minus 4k, or just as a list, we could say negative 2, 3, negative 4. Then if you want to compute w plus z, you know that you can just add the components. So 3 and negative 2 makes 1, 1 and 3 make 4. 5 and negative 4 make 1. So this is going to be the resultant if you're adding two vectors in three dimensions. Scaling works the same. Subtraction works the same. So to scale, you just multiply um, each entry by, this, by the same scalar. So if, if w is this vector 3, 1, 5, then we'll get 9, 3, 15. We just scale each entry. OK, and subtracting, we just subtract components. All right, so we can sum up how to do vector operations then if we just have a list of numbers or we have components in the i, j, or in the i, i, j, and k directions. First, think about every vector. If you're in two dimensions, every vector is a certain amount of i with a certain amount of j. Or it's a certain amount of i, a certain amount of j, and a certain amount of k if you're talking about a vector in three dimensions. To add two vectors, you just add the corresponding amounts of i, j, and k. Um, to scale a vector, you can multiply each component by whatever that real number is, whatever that scalar is. And to subtract two vectors, you just subtract the components. So just a couple examples here, adding two vectors. Let's say u is 1, 2, and v is negative 3, 7. Then u plus v would be negative 2, 9. So I just added the components. Um, if I needed to scale one of these, like 7 times u would be 7 times this vector 
one two, which would be seven fourteen. So this is a vector that um, is seven times as long as the as the original vector u, but it still points in the same direction. If you want to subtract two vectors, just subtract the two components. So v minus u, you would take the first component of v, that's negative three minus one, and then we have seven minus two, so the result is negative four five 